Hi guys, this is Mr. Ego, and today we're going to solve quadratic word problems using the quadratic formula. Let's start. Here we have word problems. We're going to do three of them. Different um, perspectives, different approaches, so stay tuned. Very important, the three of them. First one, Jackie won the women's heptathlon during the Olympics. Her throw in the shot pot can be modeled by this, so the way she throws the shot pot. It's a quadratic function. X is the horizontal distance. Y, the corresponding height. How long was her throw? Okay, the idea is the following. Something that we need to understand in general is this is a quadratic standard form, negative leading coefficient. Therefore, we're going to have something like that. It's facing down. Okay, and then we want to know how long is the x is the horizontal distance if they ask me how was the maximum height then i'll be talking about the vertex right now is how long how far did she did she throw the shot putt so to do that i'm going to find the x intercepts to find the x intercepts i'm going to use the quadratic formula that's our goal for today so let's use the quadratic formula here we have our function y equals 8x squared plus bx plus c. Therefore, the a value is negative 0.241. My b value, it's 1. c is 5.5. Let's use the quadratic. x equals negative b, negative 1, plus or minus b squared, 1 squared, minus 4 times a. a is negative 0.41 times c and my c value is 5.5 everything over 2 times a all right let's solve one step at a time i'm gonna go fast on this so let's pay attention Now from here, I know that I'm going to get two answers, all right? One with the plus, one with the minus. The first one is going to be plus 1.2370 divided by negative. The second answer is going to be using the minus. Okay, so let me compute this. This plus that is going to give me negative 4.9173. The second answer is going to give me 46.42. So let me explain. I have one negative and one positive. All right. What happens is the following. This is a lady. She's throwing the shot putt. Negative 4.91, 46.42. So most likely what happened is this is the movement, all right? This is negative 4.92 and this is 46.42. So what happened? If you notice, uh, when the x is 0, this will cancel out, this will cancel out. The y will be 5.5. This is the height. This is her height. This is the height that she threw. This is this, 5.5. So she threw the shot putt from a height of 5.5 and it landed at 46.42 so the distance technically is from here to here which is 46.42 all right we don't have a negative distance so she threw here this the shopper landed at 46.42 so my final answer is 46.42 all right the units are in feet i believe and that's our answer let's work on the second one this is our second problem is another quadratic 
word problem we have the function but it's a different perspective so let's read five fighting a good water stream can be modeled by this function which is quadratic with a negative coefficient therefore we have some kind of parabola opening down negative coefficient where x is the water horizontal distance again x is the distance horizontally and y is the height y is the height at every single point if I fire is aiming a good water stream at a building's window 25 feet above the ground so let's make a bit a better drawing so the idea every time you're doing some kind of work problems make a drawing so you kind of understand what's going on so here's the firefighter the water right parabola opening down he can be standing in two different spots on the left side or the right side they're asking me at what two distances can the firefighter stand from the building we know that the window is 25 feet so the window right now is 25 feet from the ground the firefighter is on the ground all right so we go back again and read the problem right this is the function for the water stream x is the horizontal distance and y is the the height of the water stream so this is water they're saying they're aiming at a window 25 feet above the the ground what are the two axis distances right the horizontal distances but they're giving me the y they give me the 25 for a reason why because i need to plug it in here that's my height so i'm going to have uh, 003 x squared plus 0.62 x plus 3 what do I need to do? Find the x values, right? Where he's standing. To find the x values, I need to use the quadratic formula again. Those are the, the quadratic formula gives me the intercepts, all right? The x intercepts. Therefore, but before I can apply this, my quadratic equation has to be equal to zero. Therefore, I have to subtract 25 on both sides so I can make it equal to zero. And now, after I have this, I just apply the quadratic formula minus 22 remember my function is 8x squared plus bx plus c from here I find how much is a b and c my quadratic negative b negative 0.62 plus or minus b squared square root of b squared which is point 62 to the second power minus 4 times a times c all this is under the radical over 2a all right let's work on this math quickly Now, from here, I have two answers. Remember, one with plus, one with minus. So from here, I got to break the two answers. Now, I'm going to use 1.62. I'm going to use the positive plus 0.347 divided by negative 0 0.006. Be aware, be careful with the signs. And this is going to give me 45.5. Okay, and that's my answer number one. The second one, I use the negative. So it's going to be 0.62 minus 0.347. Be careful with all the signs. And this will give me 161.17. All right, those are the two horizontal distances that my firefighter can stand. 145.5 and the other one is 161.17 all right a different approach if you're still with me guys please subscribe to the channel like the video uh, stay tuned for more videos uh, let's go over the next one question number three different approach uh, Rick and Guru jumps 
its path through the air can be modeled by this. Another quadratic. Look, negative. That means my parabola is opening down. All right, so I can have a maximum value or, and let's see if they ask me for the intercepts as well. X is the kangaroo's horizontal distance. Y, it's the height. How high? There we go. So if my kangaroo is jumping, right? They're saying how high? How high will be my vertex? My vertex will give me my maximum value. How high? So for this, I can use my, my vertex. How far? Now, how far is the horizontal distance? Therefore, I got to find my x intercepts. All right, let's work on those. Let's do the uh, how high first. Let's bring this equals negative 0.0267x squared plus 0.4x, 0.8x. Uh, to find the vertex, this is in standard form. So my vertex is x comma y. The x value is negative b over 2a. Remember, this is your a value, this is your b value. In this case, there's nothing here. So your c value is a 0. All right? a in front of the x squared, b in front of the x, c is your constant. Great. Let's go. Negative b over 2a. Negative 0 0.8 over 2 times 8. I'm sorry, 2 times a. This is 0 0.0267. And that's going to give me negative 0.8x. And this times this is going to give me negative 0 0.0534. If I divide these two, I'll get 14.98, almost 15. OK? So now I have that my vertex is 1498, comma something. To find the value of y, I plug it back in. I plug this in here. Let's find the value of y. So I have negative 0.0267x squared plus 0.8x. This is my x value. Negative 0.0267x 1498. I believe you run to 15, that's fine too, but let me keep this. 0.08x. 1498, therefore, y is equal to this square times negative this is going to give me negative 5.99, and this times this gives me 11.984, two, three decimals, therefore my final answer is approximate 5.99 so my vertex is 14.98 comma 5.99 the question was how high therefore he jumps around six feet all right in this case because everything is in feet so 5.99 feet or six feet that's how high the second question is how uh, how far now to know how far like i said in the, in the previous right how far it's going to tell me my x-intercepts. For that, I'm going to be using my quadratic formula. Okay, so I'm going to write this, make it equal to 0, right? Make it equal to 0, why? Because the height is 0, right? Here on the ground, the height is 0. That's why we make it equal to 0. Uh, negative point zero two six seven x squared plus 0.8x. You can factor this out. That's fine. Or you can use the quadratic formula. We've been using the quadratic formula. So let's use the quadratic formula. Remember, the value of a is anything that is in front of the x squared. This is your a value. This is your b value. And there's nothing at the end. So your c value in this case is 0. x equals negative b. Negative b. 0.8. Plus or minus. b squared. 0.8 squared minus 4 times a. a is negative 0.267 times c. In this case, c is 0. Everything over 2 times a. And the a is negative 0.0267. All right, let's work that math fast.
I'm going to have point A squared is point 64. Negative 4 times this times 0. All these cancels. So technically it's plus 0 on the, inside the square root. And then on the bottom I have negative point 0 0.0534. This plus 0 is point 0.64. Square root of this, negative point 0.8 plus or minus. Square root of point 0.64 is point 0.8. Everything over. From here, I get two answers. One with the plus, one with the minus. The first one is point 0.8, negative point 0.8, plus point 0.8 divided by something, which is negative point 0.0534. But look at this, negative point 0.8 plus point 0.8 is 0. Divided by this number, it's going to give me 0. Second answer, I use the plus, now I use the minus. Negative 0.8 minus 0.8 divided by negative 0 0.0534. On the top, negative 1.6 over this. Negative, negative is positive, this is divided by this, is going to give me around 29.96. So here, one of the answers is 0, the second answer is 29.96, which is showing me that start here, jump here from 0 to 29.96. So how far? How high we got it? How far? 29.96 feet. All right? Those are different types of word problems, guys. Um, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, stay tuned for more word problems more quadratic work problems. All right, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.